Now for this part of the question then, we've got our curve C and it's got a couple of turning points here, one here and one here, and we've got to locate the coordinates of them. So how are we going to do that? Well, we know that at these points the gradient is zero. In other words, dy dx should be zero. So we've already worked out what dy by dx is okay, in the previous part. And if you didn't simplify dy by dx in the previous part, well, we certainly need to do it now. And you come down to this result, as I showed you. So all we need to say then is at turning points that the gradient, okay, which is given by dy by dx, is going to equal zero. So we just put this equation equal to zero. So therefore we have e to the minus x multiplied by 9x minus 7 minus 2x squared equals zero. And again, when we've got something like this, two factors being multiplied together equaling zero, one or more must be equal to zero. But e to the minus x can't equal zero. I showed you earlier that the graph of e to the minus x doesn't cross the x-axis. That was in the first uh, video of this part of the question. So that means that it must be 9x minus 7 minus 2x squared that equals zero. So we'll just put that in, that therefore 9x minus 7 minus 2x squared must equal zero. So for a quadratic equation like this, I'd want to rearrange it, make the x squared term positive. So I'm going to multiply both sides by minus 1 and that's going to therefore give me 2x squared. Put the x term next but it will be minus 9x and then the constant which will now be plus 7 and that equals 0. And this will factorise. Okay, So we'll just have a couple of brackets here. It's going to be a 2x and an x and then for the 7 it's just got to be a minus 7 times a minus 1. And if we put the minus 7 here and the minus 1 there, you can see that we're going to get minus 2x minus another 7x, which is minus 9x. OK, so we've got that. And in the usual way, each factor here should equal 0. So if 2x minus 7 equals 0, that's going to lead to x equals 7 over 2. And if x minus 1 equals 0, that's going to lead to x equaling 1. OK, so we've got our x coordinates and a visual check over here would seem to suggest that they look reasonable. x equals 1, OK, in between the half and the 2, so we can start to put that in. That's 1, OK. And for this one, the x coordinate here is going to be 7 over 2, 3 and a half. OK, I'll just leave it as top heavy. So all we need to do now is just get the corresponding y values. So that's easy. All we need to do is just substitute these two values of x back into our equation here. Now it does say give the exact coordinates, so therefore we don't want to go around using calculators here on this e part because we'll just get a horrible decimal. So let's just say that, we'll come down here, we'll just say that when x equals 7 over 2. Okay, Just plug that into there for your x value and you should find that y comes out to be a 9 on this part here. Okay, And then, as I say, just leave this as e to the power minus 7 over 2. All right, so that's that bit. And when it comes to taking x equals 1. If you work out y in a similar way, this bit here just simply comes to minus 1 and then you're going to have e to the minus 1. So we get y equals minus e to the minus 1. So in answer to the question then, we've therefore got that the turning points, okay, well, it's a good idea. Just have a summary at the end, okay? Turning points then are going to be at the points 7 over 2, okay, 9e to the minus 7 over 2, 
and then we've got the other one which is x is 1 and minus e to the minus 1 or you could write that I suppose as minus 1 over e alright let's just fill them in up here so we've got minus I'll, I'll tell you what I'll just write that as minus 1 over e as an alternative to that and then for the 7 over 2 one we've got 9 e to the minus 7 over 2 okay and just squeeze a bracket in there all right well I hope that's given you an idea then of how to go about that question